Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and we are not on my island in Tilia today. We're gonna be visiting 15 different ideas for shopping districts. So if you've been looking for inspiration, you're not sure how to set up your nooks, cranny and your able sisters, that's what this video is for. Welcome, you're in the right place. Before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who submitted this time. I got so many submissions and they were all incredible. So if your island didn't make it, it was still gorgeous. Also, thank you so much to all of my members on the channel. If you'd like to join, the link is in the description or you can push the join button. You all just thank you so much for continuing to encourage me. Without further ado, let's get started with this first incredible island. I love the terraforming here. Walking through the island was a blessing, but check out how they've set up Nook's Cranny. There are views everywhere here. Like, I feel like I just need to come back to the dream address and study it for several hours because, wow, just so beautiful. I also love these dresses that we've got out in front here and the little seating area to the left, beautifully done. And these dresses are notably from the game itself. I feel like I see that less often than I see like custom designs set out by Able Sisters. As you can see, they're super close together. That was the goal for the video is to find Nook's Cranny and Able Sister setups where they're close together so it can be called a shopping district as opposed to just like one being on one side of the island and one on the other. Also, look, this is what I mean by views. We are so blessed to be here today. I just love this setup so much and I think they do a great job of tying the two shops together. Next, I had the pleasure of visiting a longtime friend in the Animal Crossing community, someone who has always been mega creative and talented, and it shows here in this pleasant shopping district we've got. Love the color coordination. There's so much red, which I really like. I love it when islands kind of center around a color theme and it just ties everything together. Even the little drink machine, it's red. Another thing I loved is these pinwheels right at the entrance. I never would have considered that, but look how cute that is. It looks precious. These are different from the previous island in that they're on the same level. I feel like often I see the shops staggered on different cliff levels, but these are the same. Nook's Cranny is just distant enough that it's not hidden. We also get this little instrument, which I thought was precious. If you visit the dream address, you get to walk around and play your silly little tunes as you go. Also, Ellie is matching the island color. We love to see it. She's wearing her little red shirt. Looking cute, looking cute. Also, this island is a prime example of how the shopping district can be about more than just what's immediately at the shops, as this one is connected to a really cute courtyard right in front of resident services. As always, I wanted to make sure that I incorporated a lot of different themes and aesthetics in this video so that you could get inspiration regardless of what your island looks like. So I thought this was a great example of a more natural themed island, a foresty island. We've got the supernatural dirt path here and everything is so lush and gorgeous. Look at this little flower garden right here to the left of Able Sisters. You can already see Nook's Cranny, it's literally right here. A very close, very small shopping district doesn't take up a lot of space, but it's so well designed. All of the flowers and everything give it such a lush, just wildernessy look. These shops are like lost in the forest. I also love it when people put the fortune cookie cart beside Nook's Cranny because it matches like the awnings really well, which I think is so cute. As you can see, I'm like a sucker for color coordination in any sense. I also liked this picnic setup and this shopping district is right at the beach too. If I'm not mistaken, there are short hardwood trees, like their growth was halted and I think that was a good idea. Also, the custom designs, like I said, I love seeing those. I also noticed that there was a little like animal print in the pathing. That is so cute. It definitely fits if you are you know, ascribing to the belief that this is deep in the forest. 
I managed to find another brilliant courtyard setup, and I loved this island because it was an example of an enormous shopping district. There were all kinds of things around that kind of created a huge market district on the island, aside from just the shops. So over here we've got Nook's Cranny, lots of red again, which I love. I like it when we kind of match the colors to the buildings in the area. I think that's a great idea. And Audie also loves this area. But just down here, we have Abel Sisters, and it's also super cute. We've got a mix of custom designs and in-game dresses out here, which I thought was a nice, a nice change. But like you can see, there is so much here making this a shopping district. Just to the left over there, I don't visit it, but there's a surf shop. So like, there's just so much to see. Audie was like my tour guide on this island. She was vibing, she was enjoying the nice sunset ambiance. But just how beautiful is this whole area? We've got the courtyard, Nook's Cranny, Able Sisters, everything is perfect. The next island had such a cute like township vibe. I just loved it. I like the pathing here, the mix of different bricks and Nook's Cranny and Able Sisters are right here together just across a little brick pathway. I love the decor around the shops, the little simple panels that are used to create like building facades. Everything looked amazing here. And I was walking around and realized that there were houses above each one. So it's like they have little shopkeepers living just above the shop. Again, really matches a town aesthetic that is so cute and so well thought out. There's so many different designs incorporated here, which I thought was impressive from camper vans to buildings to just all sorts of things. And it all looked stunning together. I'm also really loving the ground pathing just throughout this area. Like how cute are all the little stones, different brick patterns. You can tell so much work and so much love went into this. Do you remember how I said that I loved islands that were centered around a color theme because I was obsessed with this one. We've got so much yellow here. I feel like Animal Crossing in general has just helped me to appreciate the color yellow more because it used to be my least favorite color, but it's really growing on me. Thanks in no small part to islands like this that make use of the color in such beautiful ways. Also the custom design kit, the customization kit I mean, that was a genius detail. We love to see it. I thought this island was a great example of a more foresty option once again for your shopping district. These shops are super close together and they look amazing. They're surrounded by trees, which I just love because I think it gives height to the area and it just looks really good, really cute. I also loved the pathing here. It was so unique and it was an, like, it was an opportunity to use all sorts of different furniture items that you might not see elsewhere on the island. I forgot that Antilia existed and had a shopping district, but I did visit Lost Falls because I thought it was a great example of two shops close together. I also realized that the shirt in Able Sisters window is so ugly. Like, how did I not notice that sooner? But I'm gonna obsess over it forever now because I can't change it because Lost Falls is gone. Anyway, in brighter news, I just thought this was great. It's a more autumnal example of a shopping district and I did connect it back to the rest of my island via this little pathway to the campsite so you can connect your shopping district in all kinds of different ways if you'd like to. I also really liked how I did the waterscaping here. I thought this little like river slash creek was a good addition to the area, an example of how you can incorporate some landscaping without it being like the centerpiece of your build. Nook's Cranny is a little far back there, but you can see it tucked among the little trees. I'm also obsessed with that marketplace design. If you're interested in any of the custom designs here, by the way, there's a video up on my channel with all the custom designs from this island. And since I was in a dream, I decided to open this gift since I couldn't, like, on the island. Incredible. This next island was really fascinating to me because I felt like it was a good mix of city vibes and more of a foresty theme. It felt like this was a city center, but it's surrounded on all sides by the forest. It's also super close to the beach, which I thought was cool. But here on the left, you can see there are much more natural vibes. It is broken up by how much furniture is here and I think the furniture is so well placed in this shopping district because there's plenty of room to walk but there's still so much to look at. 
Bo and Sky agree, obviously, as they are trooping around Abel's sister's shop. But everything just looks so good. I loved all of the flowers, the shrubs, and I had to go back and congratulate this mother duck on her eggs. How cute is that custom design? Anyway, I just really liked this island because of how much was fit into this area and all the different aesthetics it brings in. I love how many islands in this video have shopping districts super close to the airport or super close to the beach. This island does both. It's right here on the edge of the beach and the shops are literally right beside each other. We once again got a pretty natural theme going on and I love all of the pops of color. I love me a good colorful island because somehow I just cannot pull that off. It looks so good here. All of the different flowers really just match the vibe of the shops and I thought it was so precious that here on the beach there was a little Timmy and Tommy area. Like, oh my gosh, I was, oh, it was so cute. Also, there's a little tricycle beside Nook's Cranny for the Nook Twins. On a different note, we have a very tropical type of island. I love that it was in cherry blossom season, and this time of day is just, like, ethereal, when the sun is pretty much set, but not completely it was so nice. I loved the palm trees that were on the pathing and this little like club slash music zone. It kind of felt like a speakeasy, even though it was like open air outdoors. But I just love this with the lights and everything. It looked amazing. And then we've got a little canal here with like bakeries, places to eat, a little restaurant. It was so nicely designed, so well done. Diana agrees. She was having a great time walking around here. I also love that switch, how it looks more natural on the other side of the bridge. But yeah, this is a great balance and a lovely shopping district. We've also got a fish market here on the beach, which really matches if this is indeed a tropical island. It at least has very tropical vibes. Super nice. I don't even know how to describe this island besides wow. I really loved all of the star fragments and the gifts that were dropped on the ground. I thought that looked amazing and I just admired how much furniture they managed to fit here. It gave the whole shopping district so much character, all of the plants, the boxes, even mush lamps. There's such a nice combination of furniture going on here. I also loved that there was like the little, the Christmas tree here in front of Abel Sisters. That was so cute. In that color customization, it feels so timeless. But yeah, you can see the two shops are super close together. Once again, they're on the same level, which I liked, and everything was just so well arranged. There was so much furniture, but the game didn't really lag for me. Like. I was walking slower, but all of the furniture was showing up around me, which was a great experience because it was all so beautiful. Also the carnations on the wedding bell, that was a great decision. I really liked that just to the side of the shopping district was this little like greenhouse plant shop too. Super cute. Roscoe was really eyeing me there for a second, but here we are on another beautifully colorful, kind of mixed natural and city island it looks like. I mean, not like urban core, but this does have a nice organization feature that I love. The way the shops are just beside each other and the inclines match up between them. You have a seating area, so many colors going on, and the beautiful daisy path that I use on Antilia. I feel like it's a real winner anywhere. It just looks amazing. But these colors really functioned well here beside Nook's Cranny. The red cosmos and the cherry tree especially. I loved those two details. And this was just such a calm place to relax, to hang out. Maria welcomes visitors but asks you to remember that her dream address is not complete. On the Isle of Flat Earth, the shopping district is directly behind Resident Services, which is super nifty for me since that's where I spawn as a dreamer. This looks amazing. This island gives me like nice fairy core vibes. I don't want to like tie it into that theme if that's not how Tyler identifies it, but the lighting and everything it just gives it such a surreal feeling. Like, is this even Animal Crossing? It looks 
so stunning and again we've got this really nice time of day like you can't even is it day is it night i don't know we're in the twilight zone currently also look at the socks dropped on the ground that's like such a cute detail as you can see we're in cherry blossom season so we've got these petals that are just drifting lazily down to the ground another brilliant detail for this gorgeous island and i love all of the like mushroom items nook's cranny and able sisters are right beside each other just separated by a cliff love it as i was charging haphazardly through the island i noticed that there was a little amazon package beside the mailbox nook's cranny is getting shipments in that is Oh my gosh, I can't get over how cute that was. But here we have this beautiful Nook's Cranny with a great overlook here, nice background, and I love the pathing style, the dirt path with Daisy Path over it to make it feel like, you know, the dirt path is the custom design. That's so unique, such a well done design. I wandered off of the cliff to go and find Abel Sisters, which Raymond was also scoping out at the time. I really like the dress that was placed here, the nice little yellow in-game dress. So cute. And that hat, I've seen it so many places lately on islands, just placed on picnic blankets and stuff. And it never fails to really brighten up an area. It's just such a cute hat. I loved all of the furniture that was placed around here, super fitting for the two tailors. I next had the opportunity of visiting the lovely island of Serenity. It is true to its name, such a gorgeous, calming, beautiful island to visit. And again, we've got some fairy core elements here. Beautiful lighting, the mush items, butterfly models, everything just looked so, so lovely. and. I feel like it's so nice at this time of day with all of the glowing items that we have here, all of the illuminated mush lamps and everything. It just looked so stunning. As you can see, Abel Sisters is back there where the little light is, super close to Nook's Cranny, but separated by this gorgeously placed little river. You didn't see this coming, but the video is over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're feeling inspired to work on your shopping district. I know I am, even though mine is already done but that's okay because Antilly is almost done and you know what that means new island new shopping district i hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day remember to check the description for the island creators and their dream addresses here's peaches to tell you all goodbye until next time i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next video bye